you said the words. Sure. Captain America. Yeah. Apparently online, right? Yeah. People are in an uproar yeah. about um, there being a black Captain America. Yeah, they work that in. And also a female Thor. Man, I see... Fucking... One thing at a time. Yeah, okay. the first thing. Okay. The Captain America thing. I would, I would I, deal with that right now. I remember um, reading up about that. Oh, what's this? A shitlord being a dick nut. Huh. Look at him go. <laughs> that dude's fucking head off. He, he's dealing with things well. Hey, that's my camera! I like how he shot it. The bullet went... And then it kind of like, what do I do? Oh, let's just stop the feed. You know what I just realized? I'm the only brother anyway, I've yeah. heard of. Captain America. Well, because, oh, yeah, yes. Falcon is taking... The dude that was... Falcon is taking over Captain oh, America's spot because of pretty legit... Like, if you look at comic book logic, pretty legit reasons, so... Well, know. the the reasoning is, well, the serum fucked, you know, America up. And no, he was no, getting that, old faster, isn't that right? No, the, the like, something happened to, like, stop the effect of the serum. Mm-hmm. So he, uh, like, fucking... Basically, the serum, like, got taken out of him or fucked up or disappeared. And so, like, old, old like, injuries and stuff that were obviously, Man, like, even though he is a super soldier, like, would have been kind of lingering and all that kind here. of stuff and, like... Mm-hmm have all kind of, like, properly taken hold, and, like, he's the same size that he was before, so he's really mm-hmm. weeny and tiny, and, uh, like, yeah, he's, he's basically gone back to being, like, asthmatic, like, fucking arthritic. <laughs> Captain like, Wimpy instead yeah, of Captain like, America. Yeah, pre, like, pre-Captain America, um, dude. And so, but, but, like, with that, he's still, you know, like, you know, tactically and, and like, mentally, like, a super cool guy. Mm-hmm. So he's still staying on with the Avengers as a tactician to coordinate for them. I mean, there's nothing nothing um, better than someone that has the know-how and, you know, connections and all that other kind of stuff and put it together. Hey, buddy! What? No, I didn't kill them. No, it's all good, dude. He's gonna die there. I was waiting for your friend there to go, Dude, what the fuck, man? Just... Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, so, um, Black Falco. Yeah. Punch. Um, <laughs> he, uh, I remember... Man, what is this shit on the floor? Oh, one second, cutscene, I guess. Like it's blood. almost like it's blood, it's but it's fucked up. Uh, portals. Yeah. Now you're thinking with portals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. thinking with ammunition. Oh, shit, oh, they, right. they stink that up the area. Fucking, yeah. Yeah, like he's Captain lucky America. that he survived. Um, yeah, I remember having... being turned into... Like, Falcon's becoming Captain America. Um, I, I was talking to a friend about this, and it was just like, oh, I don't understand why they're trying to make it all, like, political and stuff like that, and all this other kind of shit. And I turned, and turned around and said, that doesn't sound right. Like, shit happens in the world. Things change. You know? I think... And, and, yeah. and even worse than that... We gonna cleanse this out. Wow, this guy's not a fuckwit. No, um, no. He's a good guy. Um, I just, uh, I really don't like it when people think, you know, it's it's written in stone. Like, these people mm. will never evolve, never change, never get arced, and fuck them. Um, <laughs> and, um... It, yeah. And, um, you know... I just find it weird that people expect things to never change. Even in the realms See, of comics. I think the thing is, though, that a lot of people, like... To, to a point, myself included, Captain America isn't just... You know, he isn't just, like, a thing that you're like, I oh, yeah, you need Captain America. Like, Captain America's personality is very specific. Mm. Like, and part of his character is more that... You know, he is that fucking guy from World War 2 like he's you know a little bit mentally fucked up he's like had times where he's like gained, oh shit oh, sorry shit. buddy like gained and lost hey, faith in the like shield and you know like he, he's like his his character has changed over time but there's been a lot of <gasps> shit 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 oh shit 
Oh god, oh, I forgot that happened as a fucking thing. Oh, that shit, Lord. You Please continue. This beard. Bill, I think that's the thing. They're kind of like, by doing this, they're kind of. Not necessarily discarding the, the character development that has happened. Because, I mean, it's comics. They do it all the fucking time. They change shit every other day. Like, fucking. Well, like, that's the one thing you know. I was trying to get through yeah. them as well. It's just like, you know, uh, out of all the shit that seems so wacko, you know, at this point point in time you can't even mention the words uh the the letters dc like oh. apparently they're pissing off a lot of fans at the moment yeah it's because they keep making their chicks look like sex bots yeah they tried to rectify that a bit with the new batgirl design that looks really cool to be honest so mm -hmm. so i'm hoping that's kind of sending them down a bit of a cool path but um but yeah anyway captain america like they it's kind of weird in the way that it's almost like they're discarding kind of like the 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 personality <laughs> That, that's grown through that stuff. Yeah. Um, in a way, but at the same time, like, you've got a lot of the same aspects in Falcon. Because Falcon's like a modern war, like a more modern war veteran. Mm. Uh, he's like, uh, I mean, hell, like, the Captain America Winter Soldier movie. I was expecting to I haven't seen fucking, that. I was expecting to fucking hate that because I love the, the graphic novel of that. Um, just so much. That's one of the Captain America stories for me. Mm -hmm. But, um, no, like, I watched it, and I'm like, they've made a bunch of changes, but they all fit in with this Marvel Universe, and they all make sense. And they did Captain America like I needed them to do Captain America. Mm. So, you know, like, the Winter Soldier movie was really good and stuff, but that did a really good job of personifying... Hmm. Really. <laughs> <laughs> that did a really good job of personifying Captain America. Uh, and personifying Falcon, in a way, because... You know, a lot of people hadn't really seen much of Falcon well, that's outside one thing the comics as well. for a while. Um, I was saying that, you know, he doesn't, he hasn't been in the lim a limelight. People no. sometimes do retire and stuff. It's it's like the world moves. The world. I'm, I'm saying Falcon didn't really spend a lot of time in the modern public eye. Oh, that as yeah, well. That's what I'm saying. Like, and I think that's like, and it is kind of like the timing of it all too. I think because some people do have that knee jerk reaction of no, this is a character I love and it's changing. Mm -hmm. But like, they aren't just doing one right now. They they're like really changing too. Yeah. And so there's that initial knee jerk reaction of like, holy shit, you're changing a character that I fucking love. But not only that, you're changing someone like another character that I fucking love at the same time. It's just like, um. I, I, like, I, yeah. Like, I, I don't dislike making Falcon the new Captain America. Oh, here's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not gonna say that that's, that shouldn't happen. Like, that's fine. Like, go for it. I just had to get out. The first time I didn't want mm. conjugal visits. The second, I, I just wasn't ready to give up my own life. So he was in prison before, and she was so cranky. I bet he was in prison for last time. I bet he was stealing cars to provide for his family. Four loaves of bread. Actually, I think that was actually nearly it, wasn't it? Like he couldn't get a job, so he started. Holy shit, oh. girls! Oh, oh. It's serious this time. But yeah, so you know the Captain, the the like the Falcon thing in Captain America, I can get behind because especially because Falcon has been there with Captain America as like the dude that fought with him for ages. Yeah, well, whoop. Oh yeah, but the the Thor chick thing. Yeah. I am I'm actually a little bit cranky about that. Yeah. Because uh, this is the thing, the creator, uh, not the creator, the writer for the series that's doing it, mm -hmm. has gone, so I'm going to make Thor a woman, and that should be fine, because other people have been Thor before, like an alien and stuff. Yeah, well, and I'm sitting it, there... Jack Bill Mater or something like that? Meta? Um, I really oh, liked that yeah. guy. He was The a yellow, legend. like... Yeah, basic. the horse guy. See, no, but that's the thing, though. They were never Thor. Mm. Like, they, they, like, you know... Occasionally, someone would call him Thor, but the teams that they worked with and all this other kind of shit, um, like basically, it was always. Bad shit going down here. <laughs> uh, but like they were always like you know Greg holding Thor's hammer though. It was always like and and 
Like, well, a comic that I bought fairly recently was a, uh, an old. Oh shit! Oh shit! Son! Ah, I don't know drugs. how you stop that. I've no idea. Buttons! <laughs> Millions of buttons! Uh, like, one of the comics that I read recently was a storyline with um, Captain America and a dude that looked like Thor taking Thor's place for a while because Thor had fucked off or whatever. Um. Yeah! <laughs> legendary! Um, and, but yeah, he was always like, yeah, blah, 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 Greg. He's working with Captain America. So it was like, da-da-da, Greg, like, do this, da-da-da, like, and I'm thinking, what, isn't that Thor? And it's like, no, no, that's, that's Greg. Looking, like, you know, wearing Thor's armor and using his hammer because Thor is out of commission or not there or not worthy of the hammer at the moment for whatever reason. Yeah. Uh, maybe he just keeps on using the hammer inappropriately. For like inappropriate things, and therefore it's not worthy. It's sort of like a, you know, a sitcom it's actually, between the hammer and the Thor. You know, it's actually usually because he sits there going, "But I am such a little bitch because I could not save the everything," and then like the fucking hammer's all like, "Man, stop being a little bitch," and he just kind of fucks off a bit. But um, look at how these man, there is a shitload of these guys. Maybe but, I'm um, doing something wrong. Yeah, and I think that's kind of my thing. Is like, I. Yeah, sure, like, build up a, a powerful female that, main it. staging character. Like, go for it. And in my head, they've already got one that's primed to fucking use. It's Sif. Um, Sif? Sif is the chick that was hanging out with Thor in the Thor movies. She mm. had, like, she... Is just she's an Asgardian. She's a tank Asgardian. She's super fucking tough. She oh, showed up that... in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show. Like, okay. people know about her. And she... Is a character they could expand on us, and like you know, by the time this fucking airs, we might even know who it is. But they've gone, oh, you don't know who Thor's gonna turn into. But anyway, like, yeah, like they've already got. She'd say, or oh, fuck it, make another one. You know, like yeah, they haven't made new characters in a long time. You know, time, like they've they? they've they've got outlets for this. You know, I I feel anyway, and. But what they're doing is they're taking, like, a character, swapping genders, which is something you used to only see on DB now. <laughs> and, and, like, you know, they're talking about how it's fine because other people have become Thor as well. But no one else has ever been, been Thor. They've yeah. always just been using his hammer or standing in for him. That's, that's kind of the point that I was getting to. Um, but yeah, and it's like, and I'm not, like, saying that, you know... A, a woman couldn't do as good a job as Thor or anything. Like, that hammer no, is that a shit. big basis of Thor's power. Oh, fuck this place. And yeah. so, if, you know, if someone's, you know, worthy, I'd say in loose context, because that's kind of like how they keep saying whether or not you pick up the hammer. If you're worthy, you can pick up the hammer. Like, I'm not saying that a chick couldn't wield that power. I'm just saying, instead of, like, messing with a group of fans, and especially because the dude doing the movies, Chris Hemsworth, He's mm -hmm. still got two more movies to go as Thor. So whatever they do right now, they're going to have this chick Thor in the comics, but then all their major mainstream advertising is going to be for dude Thor. Yeah, that's going to confuse people. And it's going to confuse people. It's just really bad timing, I mean, I these movies are really honing in on, you know, drawing people into the comics You're and things like that. Did... I need ammunition. Oh, I'm okay. out of pistol ammo. In case if you haven't... Paid attention, I've... No, nah, I've been too busy talking comic books, man. <laughs> yeah, I've just fucking used too much yeah. ammunition. I even abandoned the guy. I just, he's probably in there He's getting probably just shanked. getting shanked dead. Um, no biggie, he's my mate. No, nah, he's he right there. But, uh, but yeah, and like, and that's the thing. They keep saying, oh, if you don't want this, you hate, you know, strong female characters. It's like, no. I don't I, dislike I, it I because of that. I dislike it because you're literally turfing part of the continuity of this character that while continuity's a bendy fucking thing in comics, and we all know that, like, it's one of the things that's, like, been scarily consistent for, what, like, 20, 30 years? That he's Thor, and even if he hasn't got the hammer, he's still Thor. He just doesn't have the hammer. Or, you know, like... I think people, when, yeah. uh, when they say stuff like that, they completely don't focus on the concept of the character themselves. Mm. It's just like... Yeah. I think they're too focused on the idea of gender politics and bullshit like yeah. that well, instead of actually going, comic books, they're messing with that. What's up with that? Well, they, um... I mean, that, that's... that's... I, I think another thing, too, is that... Like I said, it is that jarring thing of doing two at once. 
doing two major changes at once. What well, like changes that aren't necessarily that major, but very distinct character changes. Nick, I'm a little um, lost. <laughs> you need to go through that fucking door, man. Like, just go in there. Uh, open. Turn left. That's what I'm doing. Go that way. I'm sure I am. And you need to go through the showers. But there was some fire at the end. You need to figure out how to get rid of that fire. Oh. Um. Mm, continue with your story. So, yeah. Like, I don't know. I just felt weird in the way that... Ooh, like, like I do every now and then when I hear about a bunch of stuff. And it's like, you know... I'm not, like, trying to be anti-females. I'm trying to say, you're messing with this thing. Yeah, you're so, trying to analyse it, not trying to make a statement. Yeah. <laughs> and, pointlessly. And, uh, yeah, like, they, they announced... Well, they didn't really... It's, it's kind of weird in the way to me that when I was a kid and stuff, when I was... It's, it's like, yeah, I think you've got to work out how to get rid of that fire. Brad. Oh! Oh, let me out. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm um, so Yeah, like, when I was a kid, it was a case of you found out what the fuck was happening when you read the comics. But now, there's fucking, we're gonna change Thor to a chick. Be ready. And, and people's just like, we're not ready. And you like, warned us. <laughs> yeah, well, like, I guess that's another thing, too. Like, if they come up, like, with a, a, an amazing, you know, like... Storyline. Storyline. And and like a really good way to work it through and it's still you know it doesn't break the continuity and it makes sense and da 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 like people will eat it up but because they've gone we're gonna do it and just kind of screamed it out and so everyone's like oh shit there's no way that i can see this making sense well the thing is as well is even if it is the realm of we're gonna do it and them just shouting it shouting it out um it's it's not so much. Oh, you're scary. Oh, fucking move, you retard. <clears throat> I mean, you guy. <laughs> you stooge. Yeah, you naughty boy. Um, yeah. Even if it's in the realms of you know them shouting it out like a bunch of idiots, they kind of have to at least tell people. Like, there's an no. About around. No, they, they super don't need to tell people. They need to let people read the comics and find out. It's a story, mm. Crunchy. How would you feel if you were fucking? reading a book and before every chapter someone told you what was going to happen. Mm, you got me there. Like it's, Maybe I'm thinking of it like something else. Yeah, like it's it's it, it's like finding out what's going to happen in a movie 10 minutes before it happens. It's it's like oh no, let me let me get to this organically. But anyway, um yeah, they did they did the whole like oh we're going to change these two characters things. They brought it up early. They said that, you know, I think the Captain America thing isn't going to happen for a few months and the uh, Thor thing, I think, is going to be kind of like an evolving story over a few months as well, maybe. Mm -hmm. From from what I read. But, um, it's, it's weird that it almost feels like they rush announced it just so that they could get their advertising for Comic-Con. No, you fuckhead! Let to... them fight, you moron! Oh my god! Oh, move! <laughs> but it's almost like, yeah, they just wanted to get their banner ads for Comic-Con to have... Uh, like female Thor, um, Black Captain America, and War Machine on it, which is what they've done. Like that was the first banner I saw as an ad for the Marvel stuff at Comic Con. Mm. It was just those three standing there, and I'm like, oh man. Oh, I, I see it now. Yeah, and yeah. It's they're, like, they're just plastering this is like anywhere some... without any real context, maybe. That too. Like that's that's also kind of happening. So you're also getting a lot of people going like. Well, actually, no. Funniest thing I saw was on fucking Twitter, mm. uh, where a dude that I follow on Twitter, just a regular guy like, that, I, that I know personally, he said, what the fuck is with all the pictures of uh, female Thor? Has Marvel actually uh, published fan art now? <laughs> uh, because there was. There has been previously a lot of fan art and stuff of a female Thor, and you know it has been done by fans. And, you know, I, I get that within the realms of you know, people want to draw shit and stuff, but, you know, that doesn't have any bearing on the comics themselves. And like I said, to me, that more is an outcry to bring forth a strong female character or make a new, fully developed female character. Oh, look, friends. <laughs> friends with murders. No, 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 they murdered the bad guys. They're friends. 
Let's go I and make friends. I am waiting for them to all just shoot the shit out of you. No, they're all staring at their feet. It's okay. Suck, Chico. Long time no see. I guess he knows him. His name's Chico. No, he's gonna fucking kill you dead. Whatever, man. Stop tripping. Uh, so yeah, that, that's kind of my take on it. The Falcon becoming Captain America is like, okay. You know, I, I, I can see how that would work. The Thor becoming a female. I'm sitting there going, at this point, I would assume that they are going to use Sif because for some reason they just don't want to make a new female character or they don't want to develop a female character that's already there. Oh no! Yeah, that's right. I aimed for the guy with the knife. He was running at you. It's not the point. Oh, oh man, I thought he got dropped. I thought that yeah. was the other way around. I thought he got missed. What is on your head? Ah, oh, I'm assuming that was blood splatter. Yeah. We, we made friends. <laughs> A lot of friends. We sorted our differences. It's all good. <laughs> he looks like he's holding the fucking thing's feet. <laughs> Love me! <laughs> Never leave! <laughs> it's like the Titanic. I don't want Go you. on! <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, that was fun. Friends. Oh, God. Next time we won't Man. make friends. <laughs> no, like, no, there, there are no friends in the prison yard of guns. I'm sure there's friends. They're just, I mean, um, technically you've got one hanging around with you right now. More so. like a liability. And he's been more against <laughs> actually, me than actually. I was going to say, yeah, he's like, he has been a bit of a fucking, like, liability in the way that he keeps standing in front of your bullets and shit. On top of that, he opens up barriers between me and bad things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, hey guy, I'm going to take all your planning and dump it in the garbage can. Because <laughs> my name's Dallas and your name's Talk. <laughs>